What's up? I'm Hutch. And you need to understand venous ulcers so that you can identify and treat them in your patients. Venous wounds, aka stasis ulcers, occur because the veins are injured, whether that's a blockage, a leakage, or the one-way valves that normally prevent backflow from the heart when it's in diastole aren't working. Related conditions can include peripheral vascular disease, heart failure, obesity, and a sedentary lifestyle. The result of the injury is a collection of fluid, usually in the lower leg because gravity. That extra fluid can increase the pressure and cause tissue and skin breakdown around the medial gator region. These patients may also present with shallow and irregular pulses, weakness or heaviness of the limbs, and inverse champagne bottle edema. Remember that if the cause is the veins, uh, which picks up that extra interstitial fluid, that the edema will most likely be pitting edema. If it was non-pitting, that means lymph fluid is involved as the extra proteins in the lymph fluid makes that edema super hard rather than malleable like the pitting edema. The patient may have several leaky wounds all over their lower leg as the veins are not able to recirculate all that fluid back up to the heart. So there will be a lot of exudate. The wound will hopefully be red uh, and possibly with yellow slough. The area around the wound will often be hemosiderin or brown, which is what happens when that blood collects and the iron from the blood breaks down. To treat these wounds, you'll need a dressing that can absorb a lot of fluid. The limb should then be elevated, compressed, and put through exercises that increase the muscle pump to recirculate that fluid back up to the heart. Now just as a side note, if that excess fluid is caused by heart failure, do not do any of those things. Putting that fluid back into the heart is going to overload it and it's very dangerous for the patient. Instead, you'll want to talk to the doctor about medications like diuretics that will help them pee out the excess fluid instead of trying to push it back into the heart. If you want a little bit more information on dressings that you can use or modalities that you can use for venous wounds, stay tuned because I've got another video coming for you. Now it's time for NPTE Jeopardy! Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Excess blood collecting in the ankle can leak iron, which stains the skin brown, also known as hemosiderin. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or you can drop me a comment with questions and suggestions for things I should do in the future. Otherwise, good luck studying. Go change the world.